Hello there, welcome to yet another tutorial by me, Yazzie. Today we're going to be looking at build craft and how to generate power. First part is about the engines and various uses, how to craft them, what they do. So yeah, let's get started. Right, first things first, the different types of engines. We have the basic redstone engine. You don't need any fuel for it, all you need to do is apply a redstone signal to activate it. Uh, I don't believe it just now, but I soon will. So yeah, you attach a lever, just activate it, and it'll activate if it's got anything to attach to. Which, unfortunately, it bloody doesn't. This is good preparation. Alright, uh, let's find something that takes power, shall we? Yeah, let's throw that on top there. There you go. As you can see, it starts working. Nothing else needed. It starts doing power. Unfortunately, it's really basic and it's very slow power indeed. One every few seconds. So, we won't use that one. How you make one? You need two sto wooden gears, a piston, one bit of glass, three types, three wooden planks of any kind, and that'll get you the rest of the engine. And you make wooden gears by four sticks. Easy. Right, next we have the Stirling engine. It used to be called the steam engine before the update, and they actually implemented a steam engine, which is over there. This is the same as that, you just need to put coal in it. That's all you need to do, nothing else. So if I grab some coal, throw some coal in it, put another one of these on top, apply a resting signal, and that'll start burning coal and that'll run. And that works quite a bit better than the standard redstone engine. 20 uh, every 2 seconds or so. So yeah, that one's nice, how to make that. Same as the other one, except you change all the wood for stone. Stone gears, it's just a wooden gear here in the middle, with just the four sticks around like that, and then you just put four cobblestone around the wooden gear. Really easy. And of course, piston, glass, three bits of cobblestone. There's your sterling engine. Next we have combustion engines. These are a little unreliable, because if they get too hot, and you can check their heat by looking in this little drop bar here, heat, it turns, the blue part here turns green at around about 2500 degrees Celsius. That's 2500. I don't know when it turns red or orange because I don't like to let them get that far. Once it gets to green I turn it off. So that's combustion engines and the way to power these is to put you can you'll always need water in it. So that always goes in one side which is this side here and then this side is the fuel and you can put lava, oil, fuel or biofuel in there. Now that bucket's purple obviously but I have the forestry mod installed so this is why mine's orange. Mine comes out like that even if I've got that graphic in my inventory. But usually this is purple, that colour, and it comes from the Mine Factory Reloaded mod. Of course, fuel you get by refining oil there. Which obviously, you can pump out or bucket out of oil deposits, however, which way you want to choose it. And lava, well, you know what lava is, it's pretty simple, standard stuff. So that just goes straight into here, and that will also run. So if I was to go and get a couple of buckets of those, let's have a gander. Water, lava. Oh, I've got to say, of course, I need piping and stuff. Well, I've got one set up to work in a bit anyway, so we'll see that then. And you make that pretty much another tier up from the stone one. You need these stone ge iron gears, which is the, uh, the stone gear in the middle there with four bits of iron around, glass, piston, three bits of iron. Easy stuff. And then you have this, the blue electric engine. This runs on blue electricity from Red Power 2. Whichever way you want to get blue electricity, doesn't matter how you get it, as long as this is hooked up via blue alloy wire, which is this stuff, or the jacketed blue wire. doesn't matter which jacketed blue wire you use, you can connect them up like that, you can have this travelling around all over the place, it doesn't matter how you've got it set up, and then you can have it come back onto the floor back up here. Really easy stuff. Just store all of that for now. And the way to make that is you need brass gears which I believe is either a stone or iron gear in the middle with four bits of brass around it. Uh, one of these motors, which is two of those, this is a blue electric motor, you need two copper motors or whatever they're called, let's have a look. Yeah, you need two copper coils along with one, bit, one blue alien got and six bits of iron, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there you go, copper coil, and to make these is Ironing got with four fine copper wires and four fine iron bars. And of course you make fine copper wire by putting one copper ingot through a diamond draw plate. And that 
your moment this is operational because these blue lights here will come on and when you uh, apply a redstone signal to it those that gear there will start spinning this will start working very nice steam engine it's a little bit more complicated you need copper gears which I'm not quite sure how to make to be honest there you go copper and stone gear three bits of copper piston and this here the redstone transmission coil which is two pieces of redstone and then a silver ingot so redstone there silver there redstone there easy and this actually runs on you need water here and then some kind of fuel here so coal here and then water and then here we have the magmatic engine which needs lava here and then that'll start working just needs lava nothing else if you make that in a lot more complicated way this is probably the most complicated of the engines to make because you need invar making invar is quite difficult because you need to use two pieces of pulverized iron or iron dust and one bit of ferrous and that'll give you two pieces of invar blend i believe which will turn into two invar ingots of course for this you need four for the gear four for that gear three up here so that's 11 you need 11 bits of invar which is six recipes so you're going to need 12 bits of pulverized iron or iron dust and six pieces of pulverized ferrous metal so have fun searching for the ferrous stuff of course pulverizing iron ore in a pulverizer will does have a chance to give you a bit of pulverized ferrous metal so you might luck out on that one like so all you need to do is just click on it with lava for example like this and that will just go in there and if there is anything there to work it will just run on its own accord because there's lava inside it so yeah just as simple as that really of course if you if you want to be able to enable it with lever you turn high signal on and it will stop running now it will only activate if you press a lever like that same goes for the steam engine you throw water and coal in there and that'll that'll work quite happily Let's show you what i mean first oh cool maybe it'll work with charcoal i've accidentally pressed that so we gander yeah it does and that starts running again select the high and it'll only work with a lever on all right those are the engines and the explanation of some of the liquids you can use in them and how to make them course that is mine factory loaded that's a completely different tutorial and I'll go over that later right rate ways of transferring power oh god my mouse went a bit spiky then right first things first these are conductive pipes you can make these and these work the same as any other build craft transport pipe only they only deal in power so they'll transfer power along right first things first you have to make the wooden transport pipes for the wooden conductive pipe that's two bits of wood and a bit of glass there and once you've got them, you put the wooden pipe here and the redstone above it, and you'll get that. So if you've got eight wooden pipes from this recipe, you put eight bits of redstone there and all eight wooden pipes there, and you'll get eight conductive wooden pipes. Pretty much the same for all of them. You get the stone one, which is two bits of stone and a bit of glass, and then the pipe and a bit of redstone again. Gold, again, pretty much the same. Oh my god. Glass, two bits of gold get the eight pipes they go there a bit of redstone and then you get the phase so these are a bit harder to make because they require two diamond gears obviously if you know how diamond gears work and you've used them before you know that you've got to make a wooden gear out of four sticks and then you've got to make a, a cobblestone gear out of the four cobblestone and the wooden gear and then you've got to make an iron gear out of the stone gear with the four iron as well then a gold gear with four gold around the iron and then finally the diamond with four diamonds around the gold so one diamond gear takes up quite a bit of resources and you need two for these and you only get four instead of the usual eight but luckily the conductive pipes just put place the gear there you may have noticed this graphics a bit buggy I don't know why that is but yeah you place the this one here just like that a bit of redstone and you'll get the phase conductive pipe and that can teleport power over distances very handy I'll show you some of these in action. I've got a setup I made here earlier just to show you where the power's going. This is a combustion engine. It's got nothing in it at the minute because I thought I'd say it like pumping in. I'm just going to use fuel and water. These things here are called Otarchic gates. They are made on the assembly table, which is can also be powered by buildcraft power, and I'll get into that in either part three or four of this tutorial. And I've got the lever on the back of the combustion engine there. So let's set these to pulse out liquid just like that as you can see it just they're basically just taking out the use of redstone engines because you don't need them set time to noon right that's happily going in there now 
so I'll just give it a few seconds to go up whilst I'm waiting but when I turn that on what you'll see in here is light blue lines going round and round they, they'll go into here and charge this up so if I go here you'll be able to see in a second it's quite cool right, that's sufficient enough alright there's that and then any second now there you go light blue lines lines of power unfortunately with conductive pipes if this was to fill up get all the way to the top here and as you can see it's going up quite quickly these pipes would start to fill up with energy and it swells and swells until it fills the pipe and eventually explodes the pipe and you will lose that pipe it's not a massive explosion but obviously this is nearly full now so you're able to see what I mean now right here, here it goes it's just going to swell up any second there you go, massive one up there just then more coming along if I was to take that one out and then that one you'll see this one at the top here will just get higher and higher and higher like I said that can blow up so just stop that for the moment because otherwise it's going to end badly but that's how you use a standard combustion engine pumped with, pumped with resources you've got in tanks just to use conductive pipes to power any machine that takes build craft. These will also work on quarries and assembly tables. Next we've got powering build craft machines with blue electricity. It's one of three ways you can use blue electric motor motors and give them blue electricity. First way, just using nothing but blue wire. Connect it up, there will be a blue light that comes on and then you activate it and it's quite a nice little graphic to be honest. I really like them, I'm using them for almost everything at the moment. Yeah, that, that one turns on quite happily. You turn it off and it will use, that blue light will stay on. Next way, just use standard blue alloy wire, wait for the light to turn on. And this happens here. The same again, turns back on, straight wire, wire feed. Oh Christ, didn't do that. And then you've got this way of doing things, which is a bit more complicated, but you lose less power over distance. So blue alloy wire connects to this voltage transformer. This is a higher type of voltage wire, which you, all you need to do is craft that, is put standard blue alloy wire on your crafting grid and a piece of wool. And you'll get this stuff so into a second transformer and then you put that in the back blue light comes on and that'll happily run this of course uses a lot more power because it's taking out more power but it's very handy gets that running a bit faster than most and the way to craft those things is in here you need two blue alloy ingots five iron and two more dead frame motors which is the four iron bars the four copper coals and a bit of iron right next we have the steam engine, which I've currently got configured to high, so it's not running all the time. Again, this will work the same as the combustion engine did over there. I put the lever on, and it'll pump power through for me. Although it doesn't seem to be doing a particularly good job of it, so I'm going to have to get another conductive pipe before this blows up in my face. Let's have a gander. Oh, no, it's not, it's not having it at all. It's just going to swell up. This will be because it's not connected to anything that's an output. So if I was to do that there, there you go. Quite happy, looks quite pretty. It's going up quite quickly. I like it. So I'll turn it off for now. And over here we've got the same for a magmatic engine. So if I throw that in there in the middle, fill up with lava, enable high control, just let it go. And bam, we're getting power. Right, that's pretty much it for part one of the moment. Part one was just doing engines and how to transfer buildcraft power. Uh, unfortunately, the only way of storing buildcraft power is in something called a redstone energy cell, and that will be in part three or four because they're quite complicated to make, and you won't be able to make them early. It will require quite a few stuff to do. Another thing you can do quickly while I'm thinking about it is if you build a screwdriver, which is just a stick and a piece of iron, these can rotate because these have to, if I break these you'll see, it needs to go into the thick side and if I have to rotate this round there's a thin side there as you can see. This blue alloy wire will not go in the thick side, only the thin side will. So that's how that one works. Let's try these back down there. Right, so that was engines and transferring build craft power. So this is Yazzie logging off, wait for part two. Part two will be basic build craft machinery. Okay. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys later.